Now our next guest is best known for championing South African cuisine. He and he's established a reputation um, as a foodie, cutting edge chef. He has a fresh approach to food and healthy eating without compromising on the flavor. Please welcome food stylist, private chef, and more and more and more, <laughs> Jeff Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> And many more. Let's go now. Let's food stylist. Ah, um, but so food stylist, man. Um, so every time I wonder you watch TV, ne? Yeah, yeah. And then you see a nice food ad. You see a nice burger that you need. So that's what I do. That's my job. So yeah. I, I make sure that when you see that burger, that's got like those sesame seeds that are in line and that sure. glossy burger. Oh, yeah, so yeah. that's what we do. So oh. we take different things to make food look great. We even take stuff that's not edible to make oh. food yeah. look great. You so know, where like, the food at? Where the food ah, at? Okay. You, know. <laughs> you must use our imagination now. During festive time, <laughs> about the glistening rod. My man. <laughs> ah, but you know, next time I come to, I'll hook Please. you guys up some for nice sure, stuff. Sure. Have you always been a foodie? How did it all start? Oh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm from a family where I'm raised by matriarchs. Right? I'm, raised, I'm from a family of very strong women. Mm. So the guys that are in our family, they wanted to make sure that at least when you're out in the world, you don't suffer. Nobody yes. tell you that, I owe you today. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that yourself. You know? So they taught us the basics and I gravitated towards food because you know, you, for me, it's always been a language. Yeah. It's mm. always been a language, like it's a love language, a language of sadness. It's, 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 it's something that I've always loved mm. doing. Sure. Yeah. So, Chef Dada, you just uh, recently potted up with uh, Castle. Yes, bro. A double malt. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you had like a, a beautiful event where you dined a whole lot of people, oh, yeah. a six course uh, meal. Um, tell us about that. How was that experience? So, that was, that, that is, firstly, man, my relationship with Castle is it's just it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Castle double malt, you know, I, re I identified with it so much because it's something that. We, we can see it in South African young men, in me, in myself. Mm. I'm a growing South African guy. I take from the old and I bring to the new. Yeah, yeah. I, I also want to put elements together to create something that would be very special for people to see, access and enjoy, you know. So my whole thing was to create food that castle, a celebration of South Africa, 126 years of them being around, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. Was to create food to celebrate that and also to celebrate the modern guy that I am, the modern person that I am, the direction of food that I am. So. In creating a six course meal, man, I, I had so much fun. Yeah, mm. so, so much fun. Tell us about the dishes that you prepared. I mean, one of the dishes that I made there was, uh, I took, um, uh, it's a rendition of my own. I took, uh, I don't know, thing. Mm. Yes, my mm. Yeah, mabele. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So ki mabele ka ka choto. So tinge is a mabele Botswana's version. So it's mm. it's fermented. So as opposed to fermenting it uh, overnight, you know, like you would with warm water, I use the beer to mm. ferment it. So I use the beer as an ingredient, and then to give it a bit of an umami taste, you know, more a bit more rich, creamier taste. Mm. I then use them like your parmesans. So just to bring it up to a modern element. So you're adding two elements there. Tingle parmesan. Tingle element. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Hey, 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 h